the outside of this place. Okay, where's the little... Coming down from up at the top of the temple, down and around. Just follow the light. This is kind of... I like... I sort of like this dungeon. I like this dungeon more than average. Oh, gosh. Expert chest. Okay. Okay. Let's... Let's see if we can crack this expert chest for 12 gold. Heck. Oh... Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. No. Ah, dang it. Okay. Okay, now it was in here. Hmm. Okay, let's boogie. That was better than I anticipated. I expected it to be like, oh, here's 12 gold and a petty soul gem. Idiot. <laughs> anyway, having a level up is kind of important for the boss fight coming up here. Oh gosh, hi there. Here, get that one. Any more enemies? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Now, I remember getting stuck on this room the first time I went through here. Iron door requires key. And by that, they mean you need the laser. Let's run up here, like a phone bill. <laughs> What's these? Draw to resist magic. Potion of extreme magicka. <laughs> it's not actually like special or anything. It just it just has radical cool letters on it. <laughs> oh, there's a shade. Get him. I'm actually gonna be uncasting and recasting my sword spell. Oh crap! Um. Okay. Never mind. We were totally f fine. Where's the sec? Hi there. I should not have been recasting my spell. There's another one. Hi there. Get him. Where's he going? Where did he go? Shh. We're ready for him whenever he shows his face. Okay, well, let's go get the objective. That's not the objective. Shot my boy. That's so rude. Okay, we'll get you in a minute. Gold emerald ring. Wow, okay. I'm glad I was spamming grab. I would have missed that. Okay. How do I get up there? I remember getting stuck on this like the first time I did this too. can't throw a guy up there. I'd really appreciate it if you stop shooting at me while I walk up to you. Um. So how do I get up there? Is there a stairway? 
I didn't jump. Okay. So my jump button is working. I'm just incompetent. Freaking stop yeah. that. How do I get up there? At least I'm getting extra conjuration experience for recasting bound sword. Seriously, how do I get up there? Is this one of them walk around things or I swear this is gonna pop out straight out to me in post and I'm gonna be like, wow, I was an idiot and I'll be like, yeah, you're right. Hmm. Cannot use this while in combat. How how thankful. How grand. Please stop shooting at me. I'm very busy. Oh my gosh, why can't I jump off that? I actually, I was mashing jump. This is dumb. Okay, well, good thing it doesn't matter. Um, so I need to walk around there somehow, but where's the freaking place I walk around with it, around to? Let's go back here. No, that goes back to the balcony, right? Yeah. Okay, so where do I go? My only entrance is here. Can't go through here. Is this it? Yes, this is an open iron door for some reason. You know, in this sealed temple. Don't know where that came from. Give me the stupid burial iron. Give me your money. Okay. Chest. Give. Oh, well. I, I saw it. Hmm. Hi, where's the little snot? Where are you? There you are, you piece of garbage. Die. I'll raid your body for that. Give me what you got. Give me that. What is this? Yeah. Mine. Give me this. Battle of Red Mountain. Cool. Is that a foot? Ugh, okay. Ooh, a corpse. <laughs> Is that a foot? Ew. Oh, look! A corpse! How friendly! <laughs> okay. Now you send that... Back up there, okay. Now well, we gotta get up there. How do we? Don't. <laughs> Almost bad. How do we get up there? Is there a door up there? Yes, and it looks like it's another one of those open iron doors for some reason. Okay, where's the pathway? There are no enemies left in this room. I've... I've completed your thing.
Is this the place you wanted me to go? Oh, shoot. Hi there. Okay, where's the next one? Oh, look, another archer. Suffer. Where's the third? There's... Never mind. There's not one. We're good. There we go. Okay. This leads us up here. Activate that. Launches into there. Opens that door. Great. Kilcreeth Catacombs. This is a harder dungeon, too, I've found. Especially the boss fight. The boss fight tends to be pretty suckish. We're not there yet, though. Who boy. This isn't suspicious at all. Proc this. Laser up there. Open the gates. Oh, shoot. Hi. Hi there, kiddo. Come at me, nerd. Face me. Anyway, there's a lot of dudes in here, and we need to really put them in a... Oh, gosh. I have another one. Anyway, the Necromancer's a real pain, because he'll stand in the back while his shades do his dirty work. And he's got, like, a lot of spells that work very well in tight corridors like this. As such... First off, we're gonna heal up. Of course, it's, pro it's probably gonna take us longer to regenerate the magic than it will to regenerate the health. Oh, wait, why, why am I doing this? Just, yeah. Okay. Bam! Oh, avoiding that. What? Oh, for heaven's sake. Similarly. Oof. Come here, you piece of garbage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so you're really seeing my problem here. He'll just ice knife you three times and then you're freaking dead. I was at full health. So basically, you kind of have to cheese this boss fight. We're going to hide back here and play babysitter. And to hopefully not get blown up. Have another one. Well, this is a bit of a problem. Die. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm good with all sorts of weapons. Okay, now the only problem is Malkaran himself. Which is bad, because he's the worst one. Oh my gosh. 
And ice spells freaking slow you too. It's a real headache. What? Okay. You're seeing my problem here. I only have... I don't have very much magic resist. Please, for heaven's sake, summon your sword, dude. So, now we spam more... more healing... And beat the crap out of him. Die, you incompetent piece of garbage. Did I soldier? <sighs> I kind of wish I kept around. Ah, dang it. I forgot. This guy has a second phase. What? Oh, for heaven's sake. show off the cool glitch. Okay, there's another cool glitch with this. Staff of Ice Storms. Okay. Anyway, there's another cool glitch with this. If you were to run in here, I have... Maybe I can still do it, actually. Oof. I can't. Anyway, if you were to uh, unrelenting force this pedestal during the fight, before she said, take it from this pedestal... There would be two here. There would be one flung somewhere else and one would spawn on this pedestal. Anyway, though. Good work, team. All right. Hey there. Lovely. Anyway, so we got the fun sword. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. May the light of certitude guide your efforts. Anyway, that is the break of dawn. And this is our prize. Let's see, how do I how do I look at this? There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Burns for 10 points of damage and when it kills an undead, it has a chance to explode. <laughs> Look at that! That's awesome! Anyway, this is our new toy. As you can see, above our stamina bar, it's got another attribute. That is how much charge a, st er, a magical weapon has. It needs to be recharged with soul gems. Wait, hold up. Does it need to be recharged with soul gems? Do I have that perk? Okay. Bound weapons. Bound weapons will banish. Adept, expert, master. Two Atronix. Um, maybe it's under this enchanting. Soul gems provide extra magic for recharging. Death blows to creatures, but not people. Trap 5% of the victim's soul recharging the weapon. Yeah, so there's that. Anyway, that's the break of dawn. Let's let's use it to slaughter this poor animal. <laughs> ah, it doesn't cook the rabbit leg. I kind of wish it cooked the rabbit leg. 
Well, that was good. We got our cool weapon. So, now I've got to explain a little bit of a plan. Let, let's head back to my house. So, here's the next plan. The next phase. The next thing I have to do is make this sword really, really strong. Actually, no, I don't need to head back to my house. I need to go get another carriage. Anyway, in order to do, in order to get really, really strong, we're going to need a lot of gear, uh, some specific enchantments, and a lot of money. Uh, and in order to do that, we are going to exploit a little bit of a screw-up on the developer's part. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got those. Um, we can put those back in the thing. Dragon bones, dragon scales, and dwarven arrows. Yeah, we did good. This was a good run. Um, lesser soul gem. Oh, well, I should probably keep the potions. Uh, drop those off. All this nice little jewelry. Steel Imperial Gauntlets. War Axe. Thistle Branch. White Cap. Yep, okay. We're going to need as much storage space as we can really get. So let's save the game, and then let's head back to the White Run Stables. So here's how merchants work in this game. Merchants will, most of the time, not be carrying what they're actually selling. That way, or This is to prevent players from just being like, Oh, well, I stab the merchant and take his bajillion dollars worth of, worth of merchandise. It makes it so you can't do that. Instead, you can take you uh, you we need to go to, go to Dawnstar. Climb and back and anyway, because of this, uh, it'll make it so uh, there's a chest underneath where merchants stand. And if you talk to them, they access the chest remotely and you're actually buying stuff from the chest, not from the merchant necessarily. This is to prevent players from just going down and getting them. However, there are a few spots where, conveniently, the chest pokes out. I've never actually been to Dawnstar, it should be noted. Um, I kind of know where this chest is. I might have to, like, check something. I am supposed to be in Dawnstar, right? This child is going to tell me something. I'm so tired. Okay. I heard a noise. There's an archer. There's going to be a fight. Where's the fight? Where's the fight? Oh! Shoot. Yeah, you're telling me. Wait, shoot, who's fighting me? There's just a dragon here. Where's... Dragon, come here. Where's he up there? Where'd the dragon go? Okay. Anyway, let me... Let me look up where this chest is exactly. While we wait for the dragon to come murder us all. It's down here, right? Yeah! Okay, so as we can see, there's a chest here. Underground. With all of the equipment here. That <laughs> with a whole... Yeah. Yeah. So...
<laughs> so it's pretty good. So anyway, this glitch is great. Um, I need the whirlwind sprint. Well, heck off. Uh, this is dudes in front of Dawnstar. Divine space. Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wounds? We're not soldiers anymore. You. Your man Horus is wearing his old Legion armor. What should I make of that? He's proud of his service, Scald. The Legion taught <sighs> us loyalty and we're loyal. You're a traitor, is what you are. You wouldn't wear freaking any sort of freaking you wouldn't wear anything of the sort if you were in some other country okay I need to know where the shops are in Dawnstar mostly so I can pawn all of this hey you guys are the smiths around here right man you guys are all very tired Ah, oh, dang it, it's 8.01 p.m., which means that since uh, stores close at 8, <laughs> ugh, on the nose, y'all better be out here. Hi there. Okay, whatever, lady. Hey, do you? Seems like no one is getting a decent night's rest. What do you got for? What do you got for sale? Okay, let's pawn his stuff. Okay, this is one of the things that we wanted. Uh, not this. Not one of these. Not that. Not that. I'll keep those. Not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. Uh, pawn that. We can pawn most all of this. Come back if you need to. I will. Okay, let's go get that chest again. Oh, here's the apothecary shop. Anyway, so the thing that that leads to. Take care not to set anything on fire. My duty is to guard the your, your duty is to freaking is not be a traitor. Like. Okay, up here there should be some Khajiit merchants. They'll be around here somewhere. Um, let's wait four hours for them. Where are they? They're out here somewhere, right? Anyway... Um, where are they? Gonna come up over that hill, right? Anyway, that chest will respawn every about three days. What we need, though, is we need alchemist gear. Let me see if this trick will work with somebody else. So, you know about the thing where if you hit somebody and then reload the save, uh, it'll reload shopkeepers as well. Let's go somewhere else. Let's head back up here. Hopefully this chest respawned off of that. Where's it at? It's up right here. Still empty. Dang it. Okay, so it needs to be the Khajiit merchants. Um, I'm not sure how to get them to spawn. I thought it was just a waiting thing, but clearly I was wrong. Possibly it was... Maybe we lost them because we freaking bought everything they owned. Um, 
Yeah, anyway, that's the that's the Dawnstar chest. Where are they? <sighs> okay, anyway, so what we're going to do, what we need to do is we need to collect a whole bunch of enchanted equipment and mainly something with alchemy that'll give us an increase to alchemy. That's the stuff that we need. Anyway, we'll we'll find those. We'll we'll figure out how to get the Khajiit to respawn and then stab them and then get the chest. Anyway, we'll do that and I'll see you guys next time on Skyrim. Have a nice day.